Thank you, Representative Burns. It's good to be here today, and I'm honored. Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, on this 14th day of February, Valentine's Day, I'm reminded of the human's desire to celebrate love, that the need to love and to be loved is truly at the heart of every person. But more importantly, I'm reminded of you and your love, for you are love, and you fulfill the longing of every heart. We acknowledge your presence in this room, and with it comes a love that is available to each and every one of us. It's your love that brings simplicity that we desperately need during complicated times. It's your love that illuminates paths that would otherwise not be seen. It's your love that impresses and inspires us. It's your love that guides us and directs us and enlightens the eyes of all understanding. And it's your love that releases a spirit of wisdom and of revelation. As you are, God, so we are in this world. May we be motivated only by your love, which has been freely poured out into our hearts so that through us you would be seen by all, not just in word or in tongue, but in deed and in truth. I pray that all in this room would rest in your presence and in the pocket of your love, and that your love would simplify and still the questions of our hearts and the disturbances of our minds, and that every moment of this day is saturated with your peace, which surpasses all understanding, and that love would remain at the heart of every matter. And it's in the name of Jesus I pray, and all the real women and all the real men say, Amen. Amen.